r slash rules horror posted by you slash name the cabins hello fellow traveler i see you have found my letter this means you are far into the woods these cabins are as old as i have been around i don't know when things became like this neither how nor why but i do know that it's not safe here it hasn't been safe here for a long time not since i was a young and happy soul like you and went to summer camp here i have left this guide for you my fellow traveler to ensure that you are kept safe, and most importantly that you make it out of here alive. Please read all of these instructions carefully. 1. When you first walk in through the gate, you will see the circle of cabins. They will appear miles long. But don't pay any mind to it. 2. If you see a water fountain or bottle filler near the gate, take as much water as possible, because you won't be able to go back to the gate until your time is up. However, if you see one attached to any of the cabins, do not take the water, 3. If you see any animals, ignore them. They will harm you if you pay any mind to them. 4. If you go into a cabin, walk up the stairs to the door as fast as possible. You don't want the things underneath to swallow you up. 5. If there's someone in the cabin when you open the door, close the door and count to 10 with your eyes closed while holding your breath. When you open the door they should be gone. 6. Do not eat any food you see anywhere. It is probably diseased or rotten. Make sure you have food with you when you get here. 7. Your safe spot is the head cabin. It is quite recognizable because of its bright blue color. If you want to sleep, sleep in here. It is the only place where nothing can harm you. 8. Although the head cabin is the safe spot, do not spend your whole time there. You will start to hallucinate if you spend more than around 3 hours there. 9. If you see people standing outside or walking, don't interact with them or even look them in the eye. They are not human. 10. Do not go into cabin number 6. 11. If you are in a cabin and you see people standing outside, make sure the curtains are closed and it is dark in the room. They will assume the room is occupied and walk away. 12. If it starts to rain, seek shelter immediately. 13. If you are going into a cabin and the curtains are closed, walk away. 14. Anything and everyone here, if they appear to be standing still and looking at the sky, do not look up. You will become one of them and won't ever be able to leave. 15. When you first arrive here, Make sure you have a way to tell time and date, like a watch or a cell phone. If you don't, I'm sending prayers to you. 16. If you happen to survive here for 4 days, you must go back the way you came. Don't try to walk out the other way, because the circle of cabins will seem to keep getting longer. They aren't. You're walking nowhere. If these directions are followed correctly and precisely, you will be just fine. Doing otherwise will lead to your demise. Please take extra caution with every instruction. Safe travels and best of luck to you. Next story of this video. Posted by you slash pixels and colors. Welcome to Trojan Labs. Hello, and welcome to Trojan Labs. We are very pleased that you have joined us for today's clinical trials. Please take this clipboard and have a seat. The final page is a list of rules that you must abide by. We cannot stress the importance of this enough. If you have any questions, please hold them until the trials are over, and please remain seated until your name is called. Thank you. 1. It is imperative that you wait until your name is called to stand up. When it is called, stand up, smile at the nurse and say hello. Failing to do so will result in you being placed in the wrong trial group. 2. Smile at any member of the staff that you make eye contact with. 2B. If you fail to smile immediately stop walking. You will hear a low growl that gradually gets louder. You will have about 30 seconds to bow your head, and repeat this phrase, Demid mihi propter delictum mayu. Non fiat iteru. Failing to do so will result in a gruesome occurrence. 3. The nurse will take you to your check in room. You are to enter alone. If the nurse attempts to enter either before or after you, walk back out to the lobby and through the front door. Come back inside as if nothing has happened and start the process over again. 4. When the doctor comes to examine you for your pre trial assessment, you will hear a knock at the door. A single knock, followed by the doctor walking in, indicates normalcy. You may proceed to Rule 5. 4B. Two knocks indicates an imposter. Simply ignore this. 4C. Three knocks, in rapid succession, indicates an imposter. Wait exactly 30 seconds, and reply with one knock. Wait an additional 30 seconds, and walk back out to the lobby, and through the front door. Come back inside as if nothing has happened, and start the process over again. 4D. Three knocks, at least one second apart but no more than 5, indicates that the nurse forgot something. 
Reply with come in. 4e. 5 rapid knocks indicates that he has favored you. Do nothing, as there is nothing you can do. Your belongings, if any are able to be recovered, will be returned to your family, as indicated by the emergency contact info from your intake papers. 5. When the doctor arrives, do not look him in the eyes. Answer all questions with yes sir or no sir. If the doctor asks a question that cannot be answered with a yes or no, remain silent. He will continue. If you make eye contact do not panic, and proceed to rule 6. 6. Immediately break eye contact. You have 10 seconds to implement the next rule, so stay calm and think fast. 6b. If the doctor's eyes are red, repeat this phrase, Demihi Baphomet. Suskipe kwa aso on imaom aom, c forte ignos kasmihi. What happens next depends on the doctor's mood that day. 6c. If the doctor's eyes are green run. Get out of the front door as soon as you can, and do not look back. Wait 48 hours before returning within 2 miles of the office. After 48 hours, you will notice that the office is no longer here. In its place will be a Dollar General. The Dollar General is safe but you will be unable to participate in future trials with us. 60. If the doctor's eyes are blue, breath a sigh of relief. Continue as normal, but do not make the same mistake. You will not return. 7. At the conclusion of the assessment, the doctor will offer you his hand as he attempts to bring you to the trial room. Take note of the wedding ring on his finger. If it is gold you may proceed. 7c. If it is silver, remain seated. The doctor will smile and walk out of the room. When he returns, you may go with him. 7d. If there is no ring, walk back out to the lobby, and through the front door. Come back inside as if nothing has happened, and start the process over again. 8. When entering the trial room you may communicate with everyone present as you would in the outside world, except for the girl with the blue streak in her hair. If she approaches you, you may interact with her. If she does not approach you, and you attempt to engage with her, your trial will be over as well as your life. 9. During the trial, if you hear anyone utter the phrase Mori Ignis Mendant knows Omnes you have exactly 30 seconds to leave the trial room and get outside. Never return to this location. It is eternal, and will cause pain greater than 1000 suns. 10. When the doctor arrives to relieve you, thank him. You may now look him in the eyes. He will shake your hand, and the nurse will lead you out to process your discharge, and write your check. If you have made it through the trial congratulations. We are very pleased to have you assist us, as your participation is crucial to ensuring the survival of our future generations. In the event that you are invited back, please forget these rules. A new set will be presented on each subsequent visit. Thank you again for participating, and we hope to see you again soon, winking face.